let me tell you first of all this camera will be adjusting itself throughout the process i need myself a new um handle thing because it just ain't happening on its own it, it just isn't happening <laughs> it's going like this like this like this <sighs> okay let's begin okay so i wrote a list of things to do if you are depressed because this is going to be a video because i said i was going to do my experience video first and then this one was going to be more based on things you can do to help with depression and then so i wrote down a list but then i was like there's no point <laughs> there's no point because a lot of things on the internet that you will find a lot of them might not actually suit your preference so i thought it'd be a lot easier to tell you things that have actually worked for me because uh sometimes you'll find many solutions in other areas on web pages or blogs and stuff and sometimes you're like this doesn't relate to me so to make it more relatable i'm gonna go through things that have made my day a little bit brighter and kind of got me into a better routine um first of all I am someone that can become very uh, disorganized and that causes a lot of depression for me because um, I feel like if I don't get enough stuff done in a day, I'm not being as productive as I would have been. So if you have a pad like this, these are great because you can be like to-do list. I just like going through it and just like ticking off and then you can kind of go back and see how much you've done through the day and you're like, holy holy hell like i've done like a page and a half of uh tasks and stuff and it makes you feel a lot better because it kind of feeds into like a positive reinforcement of getting stuff done even if like uh i don't know this list doesn't need to be like 20 pages long um if you write only a few things down like i don't know i got out of bed today i did some chores like it still gives you that sense of i felt it gives you that sense of kind of Oh god, I've got something done. That feels nice. That's one thing that has helped me. Um, stuff that I should probably keep up with and everyone's told you and I will tell you this one, although it's like, really? It doesn't really work. That's what people say uh, because no one wants to do it. Exercise. <laughs> A word that many of us don't like to do, including me at times. Um, now, exercise doesn't have to be going to... A place of workout or working at home for like I don't know two hours a day every single day it doesn't it doesn't need to be that extreme um, by exercise I mean just getting outside for a walk around your area where you are for at least maybe once a day once a day for maybe 10 minutes tops if you can do that you will see a huge improvement in your mindset and I found a huge improvement just getting some fresh air and just getting a little bit active it makes you it starts to pump you up to do more stuff in the rest of the day that's why I tend to like do a lot of my exercise when I wake up because it it kind of like sets the mood again for the rest of the day so I started off doing like five minute walks around and now I, I've got into more sports, so I've got into like boxing and stuff and uh, uh, cycling and stuff like that. But it just, as I said, it just makes you feel good about yourself. Uh, scientifically, it releases endorphins. Sorry, not endorphins. Serotonin. Wrong thing. Uh, serotonin into your system, into the chemicals that flow around your body every day. So that serotonin is going to just pump you a little bit extra than uh, just staying at home and not doing much. Even if you, another one, if you have like ring fit or something that just gets you moving. If you don't want to go outside and obviously because of restrictions right now. If you want to be like, I just want to dance. I don't know. Just put some music on and dance around your kitchen. That's still, that's still your body moving. That like you don't understand. Like that's still like... You're shaking your body a bit. You move. You're getting, you're getting yourself doing something. So even that, or if you want to take another route, you can go down yoga, which is uh, doing the easiest poses once again. Yoga. Take yourself outside or have a window open. Fresh air can mean and do wonders. Uh, next one. What else? 
decluttering yourself declutter yourself <laughs> um wherever you work or wherever you are if if it's like um dirty around you and it's got like stuff all like i don't know these are obviously all folded but if they were like all scattered around and stuff and there was bits of paper everywhere and notes scattered everywhere you're not gonna feel you're gonna feel very um oh everything is just disgusting around me i don't want to work in this space you need to have a space where you can work that you have clean around you as i say i know it's an old saying it's a bit silly but uh clean headspace is good with a clean workspace workspace headspace go together um another way you can if it's dirty and it's been i don't know i'm one of those people that leaves a load of cups everywhere um even if like you're like man i don't want to do like a whole clean up uh just if you just remove at least the cups from your bedroom or plates or anything that's maybe just take down some dirty washing as i said like you'll start to be like Whew, okay this is a lot nicer like it's just kind of making yourself more comfortable and doing doing things that aren't too like oh my god i've got to change my routine and everything like as always a lot of these tips are things that you can start to work towards because i could be sitting here being like go out and go on bike ride marathons and start doing headstands and yoga and man clean the whole freaking house in one day like i'm not saying that because i know it's very crippling and it can leave you in bed and stuff and some days the easiest Sorry, the um, most achievement can be just getting out of bed. So I'm trying to think of ways that have helped me kind of make my environment a lot more comfortable to make me ease from the bed to another area and do things. So there's that. Um, I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else? Hmm. Hmm. Um, what is that? Is that another bruise? Is that another bruise? Sorry, okay. Anyway, concentration. <laughs> I get distracted a lot. Um, hobbies, 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 hobbies. Um, hobbies are wonderful. They can make you become very um, engrossed in something. Because basically, scientifically, I'm going to be throwing loads of science facts out there today that probably aren't all true. Um, but no, scientifically, your brain cannot focus on more than four things at a time. Now, depression... Um, begins to get a bit shunned and a bit silenced if you are fully concentrating on something. Um, I started taking up Warhammer painting recently and getting back into drawing because like when I'm painting and stuff, I'm so focused on this little figurine. I'm just like looking at it so focused for hours and like I'm not, my headspace isn't going to a darker place because I'm, I'm trying to focus on getting the task done. And I mean, that works with the list as well that I mentioned earlier when you have like a list of things your mind is trying to get your mind slowly out of that headspace and into a different headspace which makes you more focused on something else because even 10 minutes of focusing on something else in the day can make you feel like you have more of a breath and you have more of um more of a better outlook i'd say um some of the easier ones i've said I know this sounds silly again. I always say that, like, I know this sounds silly, but I know this sounds silly. Um, let me think. <laughs> but I believe in the law of attraction. So I believe in what you put out into the world is what you get back. So in terms of helping people, uh, like, if you want to help somebody, eventually, you know, Help people because, you know, what goes around comes around. So when, if you help people now, like in a time when you're having a bad time, maybe something in the universe will help you back and help you out of that dark space. So that's why I do these videos as well. Cause I hope like when I had bad times and I thought I was alone and I had help in those times, um, I want to just give that back. And then if I have bad times in the future, I want hopefully people to be there. <laughs> Um, so, law of attraction. Every morning this sounds silly, but uh, make your bed every morning. 
when you get out of the bed, um, make all the pillows, fluff them up, make all the mattress nice, and make that bed because if if that's the, if that's the only thing you do all day, and that's completely fine. If that's the only thing you do all day, you've at least accomplished uh, you've accomplished something. So make the bed. Secondly, I always say to myself every morning, and you, you will see the difference, I can assure you. Tell me in the comments if you don't. If you do this for a week and you see no difference, I wanna see in the comments. So, every morning when you wake up, say to yourself, and out loud, today is gonna be a fantastic day for me. Or today is gonna be very good for me. Or today is gonna be very successful for me. I found that when I say that in the morning out loud, I'm putting that out into the universe and I'm also basically setting myself up for success. Because if I wake up every morning and be like, I don't make my bed, I'm like, today's gonna be horrible. You're starting that lovely little loop of good old cognitive behavioral stuff that is gonna stay in your head. Like what you say, you need to, when I did CBT therapy, it was becoming conscious of what you're saying to yourself. Even when you don't know you're saying it, like because you might have said uh, something negative over and over and over again, you might start saying it without knowing, like, oh god, I'm so ugly today. Oh god, I'm... today's gonna be horrible. Today's gonna be shit. God, why did I look like this today? Like, it's you're you're making yourself fall straight into that cycle the moment you wake up, and then I feel like because you've got that in your head at the beginning of the day, it's just gonna pass through the rest of the day. Or if you've got that mindset in your head at the start as you carry on going through the day, if there's something that begins to go wrong again in the day, like if you fall into something else, like an issue or something, that's just gonna pile on to what you've started. Like, it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy in that sense. So, oh, I'm gonna have a really bad day today. Something happens in work, you have an issue. Oh, see, I, I told myself this would happen and it did happen. Like, it, it just, it's a continuous cycle that. So, uh, Try it for at least once a week, sorry, uh, every day for a week, and tell me if it hasn't made an improvement. And when you say it, you have to mean it. You can't be like, oh yeah, today's gonna be great for me. And not like not mean it, because you have to mean it. Like, you have to not be silly when you say it. I mean, you can be silly if you want to be like, oh, today's going to be a fantastic day for me. Um, but that makes you smile, so, I mean, that works, but, do it at least once a day for a week and you will see a difference. In like your mindset, you're starting off on a good basis. Um, routine, routine, routine. Routine is very, very good for depression because with depression, you're stuck in that routine. You wanna kind of bring a new routine into your life. Uh, so make a routine that's most comfortable for you or with this routine, at the end of it, have something you really enjoy. So for instance, if I wanna watch an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer later today, I'm like, okay, I've got that to look forward to. What am I gonna do to get there? I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this bit of work, I'm gonna look through these analytics, I'm gonna do this here and here and here. So you've got point A, point B. At point, um, when you get to point B, there is something, there is like an, a reward there for you for what you've done. And it doesn't need to be a crazy, and once again, it doesn't need to be crazy. You don't need to like be like, I need to skydive today and ride a, ride a turtle. Yes, success. Um, it can just be like a few things, like uh, I did the washing today, um, I got some work done, I've read a little bit of a book, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna be doing this. Routine is wonderful. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm gonna say a lot of mmms in this video because I'm just trying to go through experiences that have like made me feel a lot better. Mm. So mmms are gonna be bleated out a lot because I'm gonna be sitting here going through each time. I got it, I got it, goals. Goals! <laughs> Write down a list of goals. Um, so goals you wanna achieve in a month and goals you wanna achieve in a year. So write down some of those you want to achieve because then, once again, it's setting yourself up for success. Like, would you want to set yourself up for success or would you want to set yourself up for failure? I know which one I'd want to set myself up for, but I know a lot of the times what I set myself up for is failure. 
which has been a habit that I'm I like to do a lot <laughs> if you haven't noticed um but I'm slowly getting getting through that and stuff and just being like hey um here's some goals let's get to them let's do them uh bullet journal I can't say this enough a bullet journal has really made things a lot better now a bullet journal is not a bit of it's not a notepad that has bullets in it it is a journal which you can organize your life basically you can organize your goals organize um weekly tasks and it's just like once again it, it's like a checklist but an intense checklist so i would recommend this once you start getting if you're happy with doing lists and stuff and you try that out and you're like hey i want to do more then a bullet journal is the way to go uh you can put holidays in it you can put anything in it and as i said like Currently I have like series that I series series is that I need to watch. Anyway, um so I'm taking those off and right now I'm gonna be writing down today um art courses that I have uh that I need to learn. Um so to make me feel better, I'm gonna once I've done it I will tick off that art course and stuff and carry on going through everything. And then I've got some science courses I want to learn, coding courses, all of that and stuff. So once I get the bulk done, it's just going back and seeing where you've come again and when you've started. Because once again, you're getting your head onto something that takes you away to, from the darkness. Um, instruments, learning instruments are always great for getting out of the mindset. Um, and I think that's it really. I think what I do is I have a, a set of cards as well. You can probably get these on Amazon or anywhere. Um, in this video, I'll probably put down below where you can get some of these things, bullet journals and stuff like that, because then you don't have to search through the internet for hours. You can just click on the video and just be like, oh, okay, cool. That's where that is. That's where that is. Um, I'm also gonna link books that have been helpful to me because I have so many self-help books. I haven't read all of them, but they're there. <laughs> I'm, I don't even know why I'm preaching because I, I, <laughs> I don't do maturity of these things at times. Like my bullet journal is still very empty and I need to go through it and like fill it up. But you guys should do that. Um, no, it has helped though. In all fairness, it has. It's not always been, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let me think. That's it, I think. If you enjoy baths, baths are good. Baths are good for detoxing. Cause you go in there, you're like, damn, I got a load of stress on me. Go in there, be like, ah, oh, God, it's gone. That's what I do. I do a little visualization technique when I have a shower or a bath, which I do have quite a lot. Um, <laughs> shower technique. So visualize when you have a shower in the morning know that imagine that the waters this kind of refreshing thing and when you have a shower like you're taking away all of that nastiness that might be on you all those thoughts imagine that it's kind of washing away like your thoughts and stuff because then it kind of makes the experience better and then it makes you look forward to it in the morning like if you're like oh god i've got a shower again if that's become like a challenge just be like hey if i go in there i'm gonna feel refreshed and i'll be able to like just get rid of all of yesterday's crap so yeah, uh, I don't know any other things. Which a series that you like the most? Uh, do something once a week for yourself. Take yourself out on date nights or at home date nights because that thing that's happening in the world. Um, we're on lockdown. So make a nice evening where you do something just for you. Not anybody else, just for you. <laughs> Take yourself out and treat yourself how you would somebody else. Imagine if you have a boyfriend or if you don't have a boyfriend, imagine what you'd do for them. Like, oh, I'd make a nice meal for them. I'd put on a nice movie. Imagine you do that, but for yourself. It's called self-help and self-love dates. So take yourself on a date once a week because it's you saying, hey, I appreciate who I am. And this is what I want to give to other people, but I also need to give this to myself sometimes. Because it is very hard if you are helping everybody else, or you're always constantly putting your energy into other things. And then you're not giving, you're not recharging yourself at all. When you get to the point where you don't recharge yourself, you're just like knackered. So yeah, um, 
that is pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed that. This was a more a more positive video than last time, I'd say. No tears this time. We're going tearless. Um, but yeah, uh, have a good day, everybody. I don't know when this is going to be out, but uh, remember to do all the things that I should probably tell you about. Uh, you can find me at Wolfie Law on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. That's where I am. Yeah. Oh, and please do subscribe on this channel as well. Bye-bye!